Good afternoon. Hmm? <laughs> Which way to go? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Pushchair Experts Live today. Today we are looking at the 2020 version of the Maxi Cozy Zelia. Really nice. It is nice. Really We've nice. got it out here in essential blue. They do four colours and we'll run through um, the colours. We've got it in essential blue and it's got some really nice touches, hasn't it, Kirsty? Really I nice. think we're a little bit in love. We are, yes. Especially, I do like the colour. I do like yeah, the Yeah, I love the colour. Absolutely. Like it, it's on the handle. I'll remove my nice. iPad. If you've got any questions whilst we're going along, please just ask and we will do our best um, to answer them. If you're watching this on playback, again, just ask any questions. We'll get the notification and we will get back Absolutely. to you. Mm -hmm. So, I'll pass it over to <laughs> Kirsty. While I see if we've got any questions, give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. We always love a good thumbs up. Um, and she'll start talking you through the 2020 Maxi Cozy Zelia. I feel like we need the drum roll. I know. <laughs> we can sort of slap our legs a little bit. We could, we? yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? So the new Maxi Cozy Zelia is a really nice pochette. And the nice thing with it is a two-in-one system. So what that means is that you have the main carry cot built into the seat unit. So no need for extra seat units. It all comes together, which is really nice. Lots of people really like that, don't they? Because they they've do. not got a carry cot um, to store. Your yeah. carry cot is generally used for the first six months, and then you've got to store it somewhere. Yeah. But with Azealia, all you're going to have to store is this little tiny apron, which we'll show you in a moment. Just the tiniest bit of fabric ever. Tiniest bit of fabric. That. Tiniest bit of fabric. <laughs> so you've got your nice natural size hood, but you do have the ability. Oh, I've turned the volume. We don't need to hear me. We don't well. need to hear you. No, we can hear you as it is. So unzip just at the back and then you can extend the hood, which is really, really nice, especially on the carry cot, and especially for summer times and winter babies because it does give a little bit of the extra protection. You have got the extra sun visor, which you can pop out or conceal away. So you can still keep an eye on this one while they have a fleet. It has got quite a nice big hood, hasn't it? Has. it? Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, and I've just mentioned it's incredible value for money because it's 299 you can't beat it you know carry carts obviously seat unit and your car seat adapters and your rain cover everything so, yeah everything yeah. you need but it doesn't look like it's 299 does it because the fabric finish no. we'll show you the fabric finish in a moment this fabric is definitely what you think worth a lot more yeah just because it's so nice which is good so as joe said all you've got is a little bit of apron just over the top just unpopping it just held onto the side and it's easy to remove so when we look inside the carry cart you have your newborn liner parts already in situ and you have got your five point harness so that one will be nice and safe. I really wish you could feel this because it is so super soft it isn't is. it? Oh, really, yeah. really nice. Definitely when you compare it to some of the other brands, it definitely has more of the softness to yeah. it. Yeah, lovely, really lovely good. finish. Well done. Thumbs up Maxi Cozy, we They've like that. They've definitely thought about it, yeah. which is nice. So nice and easy on the inside. You've also got your bumper bar. And that's easy enough to pop open so you can have your open gate to get this one in and out of. Easily attach it back on and you can always attach toys onto the bar as well. So one of the things that while we're talking about the bumper bar is that in the essential blue it's a deep, almost a French navy. Um, yeah. It's a really nice finish. I don't know whether we can in. pop it off and uh, zoom it for everybody to see at home. Don't but it's kind of a French navy so it's a little bit different. Um, tones really well with the fabrics and um, the black chassis. Nice that you get it with the match with the handbar. It so is it's not lovely, like you've got isn't black it? Black and blue or blue and black. Really, really lovely. And different colours come with a slightly different finish, so slightly different leatherette and um, a different chassis depending on what colour that you're going for. They've sort of really blended them well together. Yeah, they've thought they? about it. Absolutely, absolutely. So when it comes to obviously turning your carry cot into a pushchair seat, simple as anything. You've got your two little triggers each side. Simply lift them up. Obviously, you take baby out. We do suggest you take baby out before turning <laughs> any carry cot upside just in down. Case. Then at the back yourself, you have a little clip just at the bottom. And what you want to do is simply compress the seat, you, the carry cot. Use your buckles to connect. And at the back, you have your drawstring to give you the back support. So nice and easy. Really, really easy, isn't it? Literally about five seconds, maybe? A whole five seconds, and then all you've got to store 
All we've got to store is your apron, which, quite frankly, can roll up and go in a drawer. Absolutely. Keep hold of it for new little baby. Yeah, don't well. lose it. Don't lose no. it. <laughs> and then straight away. So as you can seat. see, you are, we would recommend you start with baby um, parent facing. Mm -hmm. So you're going to move baby into this roundabout at six months, which, you know, is the usual time that you're going to move baby into seat unit. Yep. You've got a good recline on it, haven't very you? Very so good. So start off with a very nice recline. Two buttons on the outside and two big round buttons. Push them in and then you can just recline baby back how many did. And it's nice. quite nice because it's so simple to go from carry cot to seat unit. Some people, if the little one falls to sleep, because six months they're still quite young, yep. you can literally just go underneath and undo the clips to make it back to a carry cot if they fall asleep. So there's lots and lots of flexibility with this product. The nice thing, as you said, it's easy. Really easy. You don't have to think, oh my gosh, what do I do? You can extend bits forward a little bit more. So we've got a nice foot support as well there. Once everything's all tucked away. So you can still have a little bit reclined with a little bit of a leg rest. Yeah. It's quite nice. But then when they're older, obviously they're going to want their feet down. And I don't know how well that you can see, but this bit here is um, covered in like a plastic. So if baby's got muddy feet as they get a little bit older, that's going to keep it well away from the fabrics. It's all on the inside. So nice touch there. Nice touch. So as little one gets a little bit older, they might want to turn around and face the world. They might get a little bit nosy and turn around and face the world like so. So you just lift it up, clip it all the way around, but they can still recline. We still want little one to sleep or sit up depending on what you are doing. So lots and lots of coverage there from the elements, whether it's the sun, whether it's the wind, whether it's the rain. So it does come with a rain cover. That's it, and you also get your ventilation peekaboo mirror just at the top. Peekaboo window. Window, not mirror. It's not a mirror. I see myself. Yeah, you have to walk out, look, it's me. <laughs> I'm a bit vain, so I do that. Like, oh, oh, yeah, well, we're not commenting, we're not commenting. But it is quite nice to be able to see a little one as opposed to poking your head around and see whether they're asleep. Because I can tell you, you poke your head around whilst they're asleep, they're not asleep and they wake up. They want to play. They do. <laughs> now, one of the nice things is little one gets older. Um, this will go up to 15 kilograms. You can actually take out the liner here, which is going to give them a little bit more space as well. But one of the nice elements about a liner is that you can throw it in the washing machine. You don't have to rewash the whole of your seat unit. Which is really, really good. So, should we have a look at the basket first? Yep, I'm going to take the seat off. The basket is absolutely ginormous. For a small folding push chair, she's very good size. Brilliant size basket. Anybody who's already got a child will be able to tell you that your basket suddenly becomes the most important thing in your life. Feel like your best friend. Feel like your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> my basket's my best friend. <laughs> not, not sure about this one, but yeah, basket best friend. So you're going to put loads of stuff in there. So you can get your nappies, your milk, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all your groceries in the bottom because you don't want to be hanging too much off no. your handlebars. You've also got your lockable wheels just at the front, and it's just a little paddle at the back. You can lock them on, give a bit of a push, and as if by magic, locked into place. Locked into place. Now that's going to be useful if you're going over cobbles or a little bit more off in the park or something. If you find your wheels are spinning a little bit and you're struggling, lock your wheels. And this goes through all push chairs. Every single one. The majority of your push chairs will have locking front wheels. So if you're not sure how to lock your front wheels, get in touch and we will be able to tell you. Your brake is on your right hand side and all you literally do is just kick it down to lock into place and then a kick up just to release again. So again, nothing too difficult. Super, nice super simple. simple. You can extend the handle height, so it depends who's pushing or what feels easier. You can have the extension, or you can put it down to a height that's suitable for yourself. If you wanted to, you can fold your frame without anything on there, so a naked frame. You pinch up the two triggers on the side, flip your handle forward, pinch and flip, easy. And you grab the middle bit just where the handle is, and you pull everything up, relax the frame down to the ground, and you click into place. So you've got a lock, so it's not going to come unfurled as you carry it around. Nope, so nothing can come detached. And it's nice that carry handle, isn't it? Because it, it, it's, it's just automatically nice you've got easy. it, which is nice. So you, all you've got to do is, obviously, you've got these two bits in your car. Now, it does have another party trick folding wise, doesn't it? We swap yep. sides. This is I wrong. know, I did. <laughs> this is wrong. We're going to go back again. We've been doing this for months. We can't swap sides. It's, not, it's just not going to happen. Everything's easier on the other side. Like, hold on a minute. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? So, releasing her up, release the catch just by pulling it back, lift the handle, and 
a bit of a flick out. Now Joseph does a bit of a party trick. You can also fold the seat on top of the frame. So, if for instance you've gone to a Sea Life Centre and you think, oh, we've got to have two bits in the car, I want one unit, nice and simple. Or if you're in a restaurant, yeah, yeah. you can fold it, you've not got bits around for everybody to trip up over. That's it, you don't have to think, oh my gosh, where am I going to put a push chair? Fold it all together. You have a little button on the top and you have a lever. So slide your button across, lift up the lever and your seat goes forward. The nice thing with the little grey lever is you can do it left or right. So depending if you're left or right handed, it's nice and They've easy. They've thought about it. Have indeed. Good thinking, Maxi Cozy. Seat goes forward. You then do the handle as you did before. And then you pull on the bit at the back with the handle. Connect the lock. And you're then freestanding with your pushchair seat all attached. Brilliant. If you needed it laid down, you can squish a little bit more to it. And it's nice because your seat unit has clamshelled over, so all the mm -hmm. bit that your child's going to sit on is all nice and on the inside and nice and protected. It's also not too heavy a pushchair, which is nice. So if you can do, do weightlifting. Not with no. my <laughs> <laughs> but it is nice and easy to lift up and down, which is good. Great! If you're going to do weightlifting with a push chair, this That's is the it. one. This is the one. You just need two, so if you want to come by two, we two, can do you do that. one on each side. To so get the push chair back up again, release the catch, pull up on the handle, give her a bit of a flick, and then you correct your seat. On a simple. scale of 1 to 10, how easy is it to unfold? 10. 10, easy. Can't beat it at all. So simple. No many buttons to press. All you do is release. And flip. flick. That's it. Perfect. Nice and easy. Now in the box you get with your Zelia, obviously you've got your carry cart come seat unit. Obviously your herd and your bumper bar. Um, massive, massive basket. You also get a rain cover. Here. You've also got your clip for your parasol. And car seat adapters. So the Tinker will take all the Maxi Cozy car seat. Sorry, the Tinker, the Zelia <laughs> will take all the Maxi Cozy. I knew what you meant. I, knew what what meant. You meant. I just keep making sure everybody was away. <laughs> it will take all of your Maxi Cozy car seats, and we paired it with the brand new Tinker, which you can have in a matching colour. We've got it here in essential black. We have the essential blue out for the push chair, but you can have it in a matching colour. The reason I've got chosen the Tinker out of all the Maxi Cozy seats is that it is my new favourite Maxi Cozy infant carrier. It's very nice. It is um, an eye size seat, so it's gone through more testing. I don't know how much you know about car seat regulations, but eye size is a new set of regulations. Historically, car seats were tested front and rear impact. However, anything that is an eye size seat, front and rear impact, side impact, but also roll over. So it's gone through considerably more testing. So definitely, if you're in the market for a car seat, look for that eye size sign. Absolutely, it's definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth, worth it. it. One of the things I love about this, well, another thing I love about the Tinker is it's got an independent hood. In the car, you're always gonna have your hood up. What happens with your hood, should you roll your car? We don't advise it, but. No, just in case. Just in case, just in case. <laughs> just in case. If you do roll your car, any coins, mobile phone, toys, fly around your car, or glass, act as missiles, but this helps to keep baby's head nice and safe. In the car, you're always going to have your handle up. This also helps to keep baby safe because it acts as a bit of a roll bar. So, should your seat tilt into your back seat, this is going to help, again, to protect baby, particularly their head. You can seat belt the seating, or you can use an isofix base. Um, both ways just as safe. Your isofix base will make it easier. Less for human error. Yeah, less, less margin for error. That's there. it. So, Tinker, brilliant, brilliant seat. And at £139, it's really good value. So, for the well. Zelia and the Tinker, it's not a too bad price travel system at all. No, no, 438. I'm so glad you've done that work in, oh, yeah. in, my head, in my head, in my head, just call me a human calculator. I managed to get that one right. We'll do a test if you like, you know. Fingers, that's what fingers are for, on mobile phones. So, Tinker, various different colours. Um, you can have the colours to match your Zelia, if you want Zelia. You can also put Tinker on a wide range of different push chairs as well, including push chairs that are not by Maxi Cozy. But we think the Tinker and the Zelia make an absolutely great bundle. Your rain cover comes 
for your push chair. Mm -hmm. If you need a rain cover for your car seat, you can get a rain cover for your car seat as well. And don't forget your back mirror. Lots of people forget yep. that back mirror. So if it's in your car, little mirror means that as you're driving along, you can see them. So instead of you turning your head all the time, you just look in your rear view mirror and you see baby's reflection, which is lovely. Safety first, they're lovely little mirrors and they're sort of a little bit more pretty, the little ears attached. Yeah. They're quite cute, aren't they? They are. They are nice. quite cute. So if you've got any questions about the Maxi Cozy range, whether it is the Zelia, whether it's the Tinker, whether it's any of their other push chairs, or any push chair, to be quite frank, or any car seat um, on the market at the moment, please do give us a shout. You know, we are here to help. At the moment, we are open for appointments only. It is worth ringing the morning, in the morning, to see whether we've had any cancellations. If we can squeeze you in, we've got an extra member of staff about, we will always do our best to squeeze you in. So I hope you've enjoyed our video about the Maxi, to the Maxi Cozy range, the Zelia and the Tinker, and we will see you again soon. Bye!